Okay, I'm going to go over some other uh, landscape techniques when it comes to grasses, rocks, and trees. Form first, then the texture. And let the material do the work for you in some cases, okay? I've already kind of laid down a basic sort of sky idea and I've kind of blocked in where I'm going to put my tree in some of the mountainous or kind of, not the mountains, but the sort of the, the landscape that it's sitting in, okay? Remember this tree is sort of a, think of it as being like a tube and all of its limbs are as well. And they come out from the tree, whatever kind of tree you're going to do, in a way that I think of them as coming around. See, the light source is coming from, uh, say, from over here in a soft light. So I'm going to make this side the darker side. So the underside of this limb here is going to be darker. This goes for pencil or whatever else you're working in, okay? Then I might erase out for my, uh, let's see, here we go. No, that's naturally NG. Here we go, there's a good one. And maybe there's some lighter, 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 darker, darker, darker on this side. And let the material do the work for you as far as texturizing your tree. Whatever sort of texture you've got. Maybe you've got something that's sort of like, oh, I don't know. Let's break this in half a little bit here. A little rougher like this. Now that doesn't seem to work very well, so I'll have to take some of this out so you can see it better. There we go. Maybe there's a hollow in here. Let's put a hollow in there. Yeah, why not? Make sure it looks like part of the tree. Now we'll try it with the scraping over the top. Yes, that's better. And then more of this. Maybe you can add some of your pencils, make your texture in this way. Suggest the texture maybe in some areas more than others. You can always work mixed media over things. Same way with this top of this limb here. Let's clean this up here. And underneath here, we've got a, say we've got a limb here. It's going to be dark to light to dark. Coming in front of this one here. Darker in here, okay. The limbs come out from the tree, okay. So that they look like they're actually part of the tree structure. They're not just sticks in the air. That's crazy. They're actually little like spaghettis or tubes coming off of this tree. And when you finish up at the tree, the ends, this is where your contour line drawing may come into play. A little bit more of a, and you can make it thinner, thicker, you, know, you can add more to this, but they're coming off of it so that you've got twigs that are coming out that look like forms too. Does that make sense? That's your basic tree idea. These are just quick, I'm just trying to get this done quickly so you guys aren't here forever. Now as far as grasses, grasses come in clumps. From the background, they're gonna look more like this. They're gonna be very And they're going to come light at the top, dark at the bottom, where the – 
and then dark here where this is kind of coming behind. But we get a little bit more of a difference now. And then we get behind there, okay. Let's go ahead and put this all in real quick. We're getting the basic structure. Then, let's see, it gets more down here. As it remember, as it gets closer up to you, you're gonna get a little bit more. There we go, that's better, good. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit more detail up front. But back here, I might decide I need to lighten up some areas here. This is where you bring in your eraser and this grass is coming in front of what's behind you. So you gotta build from the forward, excuse me, from the back, forward, just like any other landscape. I think we have a little bit of a brighter spot here. And then that means we need to put in a little bit more of a darker area in here. But I'm gonna mush it because this doesn't have any detail. Is that right? Makes, makes sense? A little bit more of a, see how that works? Super easy. Okay, that's what's nice thing about charcoal. Then up here at the front, this is where your grasses get to be the most contrast, the most they come in front of the tree maybe a little. Let's put some of these. And then we have our, where's our vine charcoal? Here we go. Now this clump here I'm going to make very dark up at the front. Maybe I'm going to have a little, div, little divot here. And then have these come out over the top of that. Does that make sense? Like this. It's a clump. These are clumps of grasses. Get this all in here quickly. Let's get these guys back here. A bit more. Back here. Need to be irregular. There we go, that's better. Running out of charcoal. There it is. Clumping it out around the tree. and then coming in front of the tree. And you can get your charcoal pencil in later, excuse me, and make it even more detailed and big. The bigger, the more detailed up in the front. But notice how we're making a progression from barely noticeable any kind of grass here, just sort of a suggestion of it. You can even lighten it up if you want to. It doesn't have to be super dark like this. That part of the skyline, okay. Take it down. I don't like that part there too much. There we go. And that's the way it comes. As a matter of fact, I might even lighten that up just a bit. It's a bit dark back there. Yeah, take that out some, a little bit, even more. Get this cleaned up. That's better. And take this all out. Yeah, darker, much darker and more contrast up at the front, much more detailed. Rocks, think of the rock as being, of course, a form. Say, my, here's, my, here's my basic rock. The light's coming on the top of it, okay? Maybe it kind of shadows down here, kind of goes like this or something. This is going to be the darkest side. Give me the form first.
they can sort of mound it over there. Give me the form first. Even if it's a rounded rock, that's fine. But we need to see, put this one back here. There we go like that. And I want this to be dark, darker over here. So we definitely read that side there, okay? And then maybe, I want that to be a crevice there. Okay, yeah, that's better. I want that on this side. Don't get rid of that line there. There we go. Now you've got your basic form. You fix the rock. You see how that works here? You got here's the. Let me get this out a little bit, a little less. There we go. You can see a little bit better. There you go. Now you can fix it with the spray fixative, and add your texture in over the top. If you want more cragginess, if you want something like this over the top, you see how that looks kind of rocky. We don't need that eraser bit there, thank you very much. Maybe you want to take, and after you've fixed it, and bring some of this over the top of it in some areas. Maybe you want to bring in some cracks with your contour line skills. Maybe there's a break here in the rock. Or maybe there's a very, you know, maybe this has got a crag in it. Lighter to darker. You know, that kind of a thing. See how that works? Give me the form first and then let the material and whatever you want to create the, the, um, the texture of the rock and give it its rockiness, okay? This works with pencil, charcoal, anything, okay?